long have you been involved in crypto and what have you learned so far? Cryptocurrency. Um, funny story, actually. I had a friend uh, that back in 2012 used to mine Bitcoin. Uh, he used to come around my house and say, oh, you know, can I use your computer overnight to mine a coin or something like that? And uh, I knew nothing about it and it was Bitcoin. But I didn't get involved back then because it, was, it wasn't worth anything. But uh, essentially, around about the start of lockdown, I started just buying a little bit of Bitcoin. I was looking at stocks and shares. Uh, I had a lot of free time on my hand and then just got quite into it. So uh, since then, I've done everything from DeFi. I've done crypto mining with helium miners. Uh, got into a group of people, spent a small fortune on helium miners. And uh, they keep hassling me saying, when's crypto going to come back? Um, but really looked at everything, uh, started using the actual crypto network. So rather than just using Coinbase or something like that, going onto a PC and looking at how those platforms work. So, you know, which one is better? Is Solana a better network or Phantom or Ethereum? Um, gone through all of the gas prices. Looked at NFTs, um, tried to make our own NFTs called Crypto Creps, which... We never quite got off the ground, and maybe one day we might uh, do something with that. But really gone full circle with it. Tried leverage trading, lost a lot of money leverage trading. So if you're new to crypto, I would highly advise not going into leverage trading. It takes years and years of understanding price action, charts, things like that. Some people will get lucky and they'll make a video on TikTok and say, oh, I did my first crypto trade and I 100x leverage and I made £1,000. That's not everybody. That's a little bit like somebody that's won the lottery. If you actually look at all of the people that didn't win the lottery compared to the one person that did, you'd start to figure out that actually the odds are stacked against you. Um, I'm still a fan of it. I'm not convinced yet that we've come across anything that's going to revolutionize international money and transferring cross borders just yet. A lot of people will argue with me that XRP is going to be the one. It might be the one, but it's not yet. I think we're in the middle of a bull market, and I think that bull market's going to last for probably about another 450, 500 days. My coins that I'm massively um, stacking, oh, when I say massively stacking, I'm putting a little bit of money into them. Uh, Solana, Render, a bit of XRP, which might surprise some of you, as well as a bit of Ethereum, a little bit of Bitcoin. Uh, they're kind of your safe bets. And then looking at some very small caps. So uh, things such as Phantom, which is quite low in price now. It went up to a couple of dollars. But I think it's around about the 20 cents mark now. Um, and any of the ecosystem coins that come off of that. So if you're looking at something like the Solana network, what are the exchanges that use Solana, what are the gaming tokens that use Solana? Because once Solana starts to pump or Ethereum starts to pump or FTM starts to pump, what you tend to find is the platforms that are using that network, they pump 10 times harder in some cases. So having an ecosystem that you're confident in as well as the coins that are working on that ecosystem tends to be the best bet. I use SwissBorg. Uh, I think it's a really good platform, particularly their telematics option, which is a little bit like an index fund. So you can put £100 in and that will allocate coins, starting with Bitcoin and then Ethereum and then some smaller caps. And it reallocates those coins so that you've always got the same percentage. So 20% Bitcoin, 15% Ethereum and whatever at the end of each month. Uh, and that's very good for a beginner. Coinbase is obviously very good. Um, my best advice would be pick some coins, stack them, and just forget about them. Uh, we've probably got until next December, January time, maybe slightly longer. Um, but just enjoy it. It is speculative. Don't get too greedy. Never buy when the coin's going up, and you'll get FOMO. People will say, such and such coin's done, you know, it's gone up by $1,000 in the last, you know, 20 minutes. Don't buy that because following a green candle is always a red candle. Uh, and then when your money starts to look like it's dwindling because red coins are start, uh, red candles are starting to take over, don't panic and sell. That's what a lot of people do. That's the human emotion. Uh, but enjoy it. Take some money out when you can. Maybe take your capital out. Uh, and let's hope for a raging bull run.